What's up guys, it's Mikey with PatBangers.com today with a new app check and today I'm gonna talk about Sample Manager, an audio file batch processor for Mac. It's aiming for sound designers, sample pack creators and everybody that has to work with a huge amount of audio files doing the same procedure over and over. It's pretty powerful. You can download it on the website audiofile-engineering.com and the price is $79. A fair price for a time saver like this and let's fire up the app okay so here in sample manager the first thing you notice are the waveforms and the information window so down here you see the waveform when I play it back indicator and in the information window you see all the information of the files so like the, the loudness the decibels the samples the sample rate, the range, and the file size. Uh, in here is also recorded the tempo and the time signature, but I think it's because my machine project, I re when I recorded the sample, was 90 BPM. So I don't think this file is really 90 BPM here. But if you get the, the right time, it would show it as well. Now, the most important thing here is the collections. So here you have all your actions and workflows. And what you can do is you can build your own workflows from the actions. And let me load up a workflow real quick so you can see how this is working. Let's say we use right this convert to 8-bit on desktop. So I drag this over. Now this is only one action. And what it does is it's convert the bit depth to 8-bit. And then in the destination options it says make new files on desktop. So now I can go here to my list. I can just say run. Or I have to highlight them all first, then I get to run. And then as you can see, it creates all new samples here on my desktop. I want to go here and check out the WAV file now. You see it changed it to 8-bit. Okay, now let's get rid of these files here. Alright, so uh, let's load up another workflow. For example, 30-second MP3s. Now this contains three actions. First of all, change length, so it shortens all files here in the list to 30 seconds, if they're longer than 30 seconds. Then it normalizes all the files, and then it exports them as an mp3 file, and you can do some more options here, like changing bitrate. This is basically how it works. You got all your actions, building your own workflows from this. The really cool thing about it is if you're using Automator or Apple Script. It totally integrates with them. I'm going to show you here in Automator. When you check out your uh, library, you see all the actions from Sample Manager are now included in uh, your Automator library. If you got workflows running on your system and you're watching folders and stuff like that, you can easily use Sample Manager to extend or expand your workflows. Now let's go to the actions and check out what's all there. So for the amplitude you can change the balance, you can fade in and fade out. Fade out. Uh, also uh, it has a decibel detection here so you can say fade out everything that's below 3 decibels, stuff like that. Um, you can convert files, you can convert the bit depth, you can convert the channels, the format, the sample rate, you can export it as an AAC file, FLAG, OGG, or VOX, MP3, whatever. Uh, you can extract labels, you can uh, compact files, meaning stripping all the useless metadata from files. Now here for the labels, you can make um, labels at thresholds, at divisions, you can make labels for the tempo, you also can trim files and strip silence from files. You can compress them, change the speed, change the pitch, change tempo. You can set bars and beats so it analyzes the file. You can set the musical scale, musical key. You can set the tempo and time signature. Yeah, so you got more than 70 actions here that makes your life easier. So, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty cool if you... As I said, if you have to deal with a large amount of samples and let's say you have a, you had a whole day of recording drums and for example you uh, have like 500 or 600 files and you want to strip silence from them, you just drag them in, create your workflow and that's it. And the good thing is 
you can save these workflows. So once you, you have this workflow set up, you never have to do it again. You just drag it in, run the workflow. That's it. Or you could also use it with Automator and, for example, make a watch folder and throw every everything that you throw in that folder runs through Sample Manager and gets processed. So, yeah, pretty neat little app. Um, again, you can download it on audiofile-engineering.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If so, please share the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace! Thank you.